Hey, welcome to Electron Online, and now let's do an example dealing with kinetic energy. Let's say that you have, or that you're observing an electron that's whizzing by you at very high speed, and you find out that it has kinetic energy equal to 7.5 MeVs. So in other words, they will say the term that you're observing a 7.5 MeV electron. So when you hear you're hearing a, when you hear the term you're observing a 7.5 MeV electron, that means it has 7.5 MeVs of kinetic energy. They're not talking about the total energy of the electron, only about the kinetic energy of the electron. So you determine the kinetic energy of the electron is 7.5 MeVs. You're trying to find the total energy of the electron, the momentum of the electron, the gamma associated with the electron, and the velocity of the electron. Of course, the gamma is the Lorentz factor that we're after. So here we have some equations on the right of the board that we can choose from. And so to find the total energy, we probably want to go ahead and use the top equation. So we can say that the total energy is equal to the rest mass energy plus the kinetic energy. And of course, the kinetic energy is known, 7.5 MeVs. So what is the rest mass energy of the electron? Well, it turns out that the rest mass energy, E equals M sub naught C squared, which is equal to the mass, which is 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. And then we have to multiply that times the speed of light squared, 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second squared. And let's see what we get when we calculate that. So 9.11 e to the 31 minus times 3 e to the 8 squared equals. So that gives us a total energy equal to 8.2 times 10 to the minus 14 joules. Now, of course, we don't want to leave it in terms of joules, so 8.2 times 10 to the minus 14 joules. If we then convert it to electron volts, so one electron volt is equal to 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. All right, so divide by 1.602 e to the 19 minus equals, and so we have roughly 512,000 electron volts. So that is the rest mass energy of the electron. We know the kinetic energy of the electron, so all we have to do is add them together. The total energy is equal to the rest mass, which is 0.512 MeVs. So converting from thousands of electron volts to million electron volts will be equal to this, plus the kinetic energy of 7.5 MeVs, which means the total energy of this electron would be 8.012 million electron volts. All right, so now we have answer number one. So what is the momentum of this electron? Well, now we have to go to this equation right here that shows us the momentum in terms of the total energy and the rest mass energy. All right, so grabbing the second equation, we can say that the total energy squared is equal to the rest mass energy squared, m sub naught c squared quantity squared, plus the quantity of the momentum times the speed of light squared. So solving this for p, what do we get? We move this to the other side, we turn the equation around, so we have p times c quantity squared is equal to the total energy squared minus the rest mass energy squared. Taking the square root of both sides and moving the c down here, so taking the square root, and moving the C down here, we can say that the momentum is equal to the square root of the total energy squared minus the rest mass energy squared, all divided by C. All right, and of course, typically, the momentum is expressed in terms of C, so we can just leave it as something in MeVs divided by C. So let's go ahead and work this out. So the total energy is right here, 8.012, so 8.012 squared at minus the rest mass energy, which is equal to this quantity right here in MeV, so minus 0.512 squared equals, and then we take the square root of that, and so we see that this is equal to 7.99 MeVs divided by C. And so this here would be the way in which we can calculate the momentum of that electron. Now, next we need to find gamma. Hmm, gamma can be done this way. We know from this equation right here that the total energy E is equal to mc squared, which is equal to gamma times m sub naught c squared. 
In other words, gamma is equal to the total energy divided by the rest mass energy. So it's the ratio of the total energy divided by the rest mass energy. That's what gamma means. That's that Lorentz factor. So the total energy was equal to 8.012 MeVs. The rest mass energy is 0 0.512 MeVs. So when we take that ratio, 8.012 divided by 0 0.512 equals, and the gamma, the Lorentz factor is 15.65, and it's just a number. All right, so that's a pretty high number, so that means that the velocity must be fairly fast. So now we can calculate the velocity in terms of gamma, right here in terms of speed of light. So the velocity is equal to the speed of light times the square root of 1 minus 1 over gamma squared. And using that value for gamma, we can say that it's equal to the speed of light times the square root of 1 minus 1 over 15.65 quantity squared, like so. And let's see what we get. So 15.65, we square that. We take the inverse of that. We subtract that from 1. We take the square root of that, and now we have the value that the velocity is equal to 0.998c. So the, elect the electron, in order to have that kind of kinetic energy, has to be traveling at 99.8% of the speed of light. So that's how we find the total energy, the momentum, the Lorentz factor, and the velocity of that electron. And that's how it's done.